Old story, but with a new take that has audiences laughing out loud. Take a sneak peek at Dracula, a comedy of terrors. And right there, dressed entirely in black, stood none other than... Count Dracula, nice to meet you. Alexa, turn down the music. <laughs> Mr. Harker. So good to finally be here. It was quite a journey. Welcome to my house. Please note that you have entered under no duress and of your own free will. And here on our couch this morning is James Daly, who plays the title role in the hit off-Broadway comedy, Dracula, a comedy of terror. So <laughs> welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having so me. So great to have you here. We've heard so many great things already yeah. about this production. Good. You play Dracula, but you obviously put a new spin on it. Yeah, that was quite the entrance. Hey, I wish I entered like that. You should have. I, I should have, actually. Yeah. I should have yeah. worn my mesh vest. <laughs> what is the spin, though, on this? character this time around? Uh, the spin on Dracula this time around, he's, well, he's very, um, I don't know, scantily clad yeah. for one. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely a sexy take on Dracula and it's very silly, you know, it's, uh, our show's really condensed, it's 90 minutes, so it's different than the usual kind of like slow burn mm -hmm. Dracula that people are used yeah. to. And it's really campy, it's over the top, yeah. and it's just, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. It's, people love campy, right? And yeah. people are, like really love Dracula. He's yeah. been around forever, like through, through different variations. This is mm -hmm. obviously a different spin on it. So for you to take on an iconic role, what did you have to do to kind of get into the mindset of a, a Dracula character? I definitely tried to consume as much vampire content I was gonna say, yeah. as possible. The mm -hmm. old Bela Lugosi original Dracula read mm -hmm. the novel, which I loved, both of them, the movie and the novel. Um, of course, watched my uh, annual Twilight yeah. series, <laughs> which are oh. personal favorites of mine. Um, worked out a lot for the role. Yeah. Um, yeah, but tried to just like no, get I couldn't it. tell. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, you yeah. did good. You did well. You did well with Thank that. You. Thank you very much. But tell us the storyline then on this retelling of Dracula. It's honestly quite similar to the book. It's okay. like it stays very um, true to the original story, but just like a bit sliced and diced and really put together. And like yeah. I said, it's really high energy and and campy and silly and over the top. Yeah, small you know. cast, right? But they're yeah. but big characters. So they all take on various roles. <laughs> yes, they do. Uh, um, I'm the only one who actually just plays the one character. Yeah. I play Dracula, and the other four actors in our show play, like, I don't know, seven or eight it's characters. Amazing. So it's amazing. It's like amazing. seeing them kind of rotate in and out. It's incredible. Yeah. I feel a little bad, honestly, sitting back there. <laughs> I get a few nice breaks yeah. in the show where I just kind of get to watch them run around me. I'm like, wow, have fun. That was great. Yeah. Good luck. I'm always curious, when you do a comedy, how you can kind of keep your composure and not mm -hmm. just laugh hysterically at each other. It, you know, we rehearsed for about a month, so mm -hmm. we got a lot of the giggles out in rehearsal, yeah, but yeah. still, like, there's room for improv and for things to, like, mishaps on stage, so, like, things do happen every show that make us laugh, and sometimes we have to turn up stage and take a moment, yeah. but the audience inevitably loves those Love moments, that. too, because yeah. they feel like of they're in they're on a joke with us, and so they're part of it, right? even when things go wrong, it's, like, kind of a, a gift for us right. on stage, too, so, yeah. Uh, tomorrow's Friday the 13th, okay? Yeah. So, a lot of theater people are superstitious. They have their whole rituals that they do before the the show yes are you absolutely oh Ooh. I'm a very superstitious person person in general I didn't really think I was but my partner just reminded me before the show they were like yeah no you 100% are I'm always talking about like well I can't wear this shirt I don't want to jinx it or I don't want to yeah. say the wrong thing um, I definitely have my pre-show warm-up that yeah. I do it has to be the same every time vocal really? and physical yeah I put on my Dracula t-shirt and I go on stage and do my kind of warm-up that takes right. about a half an hour um, I have different sets of fangs that I use. Oh, speaking of which. In shows. Oh, yes, we got yeah, some got fangs some. for you guys so as well. for bringing these. Aww. Good luck. Those are the classic okay, Halloween scared. fangs. Wow, they fit nice. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> so speaking of dressing up. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Luckily, I don't have to wear those in the show because they're impossible. Are you dressing up for Halloween? Yeah. <laughs> I, what? <laughs> That was, I understood you though. Wow. Are you? Do you I, like dressing up for Halloween? I, I love dressing up for yeah. Halloween. My mom is a seamstress, so we oh. used to kind of like, and still do kind of. So you always had the best costumes. I did always have the best costumes growing up, superheroes, mm -hmm. whatever I kind of wanted. Um, 
last year, me and my mom together created like an entire Avengers <gasps> fleet I don't know why for I'm me. Happy and my you I like that looks really natural on you, actually. <laughs> I was thinking actually this year. But this year, yeah. Um, I've been watching a lot of Hell's Kitchen lately, mm -hmm. and was like, what if it, what if I went as Gordon Ramsay for Halloween, oh, just yeah. like a chef's thing? Because he's yeah. one of the scariest characters on TV, yeah. I swear. So, but a bloody one. But a bloody Gordon, like oh, a dead Gordon go. Ramsay. <laughs> just the, just the apron. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm like, are you gonna keep those on for the rest of the interview? Since because you worked out, it. he's like, oh, just the apron. Well, because some people like right. that, you know, they try to, well, because the character is like a yeah. sexy yeah. slash yeah. scary. That's the whole Halloween thing. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. I always laugh at the costume. Sexy so Gordon Ramsay. Exactly. Sexy <laughs> Gordon Ramsay. There you go. You're Sounds like first. a good costume to me. Yeah. I'm so looking forward to seeing this show. Yeah. Please come. Yes, yeah, of course. Yeah, wish yeah, you the best of luck with it. Thank you. Thank you for coming on by, James. And you can check him out in Dracula Comedy of Terrors at New World Stages. Go to DraculaComedy.com for tickets, and right now through Sunday, guess what? You can get two for one tickets. Oh, that's great. It's part of Off-Broadway Week, right? So visit NYC Tourism for more info on that. Great to have you.